Hey everybody, Chad Sano from Sano Farm Seed Company. Uh, today is October 1st um, when I'm filming this and it's wet and harvest is at a standstill. Uh, as soon as the weather clears up though, we uh, it's going to be full tilt. A lot of the beans are ready to go, just need things to dry up. I'm uh, going to do a little virtual uh, plot tour here at our home location. Uh, we have about five of these plots throughout the county. Uh, this current plot's in 30 inch rows. We have this plot in 15 inch rows and seven and a half inch rows. Uh, so we're pretty excited for harvest, pretty excited to get this plot off. Um, it's been in fantastic shape all year and we've had um, a fantastic opportunity to be able to walk and, and um, visually inspect uh, this crop throughout the year. Uh, on a year where um, we've brought out a lot of new varieties, a lot of Z varieties, and um, very excited about what we're seeing and um, looking forward to the future. So uh, we're going to go through a few varieties and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. Bye. To start off our plot here, we got 23Z58. Uh, this is a bean that we brought in a little on the earlier side of what we're used to in our lineup. Uh, it's uh, 3100. We brought it to compete, uh, to take a look at it uh, against 25A16s. Uh, you know, not 100% sure if this bean's going to replace 25A16s, but it's definitely an option for us on the earlier side. Um, it's got great field emergence out of seven, white mold out of five. Uh, it's a Peking variety. A couple things we noticed about this great plant health throughout the season and we are noticing maybe a little larger uh, bean size here come harvest time. So uh, again, we're gonna let the combines tell us some more data, but uh, this definitely looks like a bean um, that could have a place on the earlier end of our lineup. Here we got P25A16. Uh, this is a bean that is currently out in the countryside today. Uh, it's 3150, uh, field emergence seven, white mold six uh it's also a peking we are absolutely in love with this variety right now um this is everything and more of what p24 a80s was for us in essex county it's a phenomenal early season bean gives us a great opportunity to put wheat in and from everything that we're seeing so far it is running with our full season varieties um it's we've already have some fields off uh the customers are extremely happy with what they're seeing and all the fields we've walked um we've also been very happy noticing a lot of four bean pods um it just seems like this bean is going to be a great essex county soybean for us we got a few beans here um in the middle of our our heat unit lineup here uh that we got a see how they shake out, see if we feel that there is a major need for them. Um, you know, between these three, uh, we don't think the 26Z78s uh, have much more to offer than the 25A16s from what we're seeing right now. But again, we got to let the data tell us um, between the 28Z30s and the 28Z89s, we are leaning a little bit more towards the 28Z89s. Uh, just seem to have a little bit better plant health. They are a Peking, uh, and I don't believe we need both of them. So trying to narrow that down. That's why we put these blots in. So the biggest task we have moving to 2025 is to shake out our three full season soybeans. Uh, we have 30A75s here. Uh, these beans are, are out in a big way in 2024. They're on a lot of acres. Uh, they look good. We're very happy with them. But we are excited about maybe taking to the next level with our, the two new ones that we're bringing out for 2025. Uh, so we uh, have been watching these closely. And, uh, you know, we're very interested to see how these three varieties shake out. Um, 30A75s is a 3275 uh, heat unit bean. Um, it's got uh, four for white mold, uh, 
six for canopy width, seven for field emergence. Uh, and again, you know, we have it out there a lot and we're happy with what we're seeing. Gonna talk about uh, these two uh, new full seasons uh, together that we're looking at. Um, 31 Z32s is a 3300. 32 Z91s is a 3325. In all the plots we have, it appears to possibly be a little bit longer than that. The 32 Z91 seems to be holding on. Uh, so as a full season bean, we like that. Um, it just seems this year at least to be maybe a little bit longer, uh, I guess, than that gap between the two and heat units on paper. Um, 31 Z32 uh, looks good this year on the plots we have. Uh, they both look good compared to each other. Uh, I'd give 32 Z91s, you know, uh, a little bit of advantage on plant health and some of the situations we've seen it in. Uh, I have it personally, uh, no tilled in the corn stalks. Uh, 32 Z91 is 1K 3A for Fertofra. Uh, it's a Peking variety. Um, 31 Z32 uh, is 1K and um, it does have a better frog eye leaf spot score. So there's some pros and cons to both. Uh, again, you know, I know it sounds like a broken record, but the combine tells us a lot of information. These are just some initial assessments. Uh, so, you know, we're very excited about these two beans. Um, and our goal right now is, um, you know, we're going to need 2025 to be a year to help us shake it out exactly which one is better for Essex County or if both of them are needed. Uh, so wait, stay tuned and um, we'll get that information to you. So like I mentioned a few times here, um, at the end of the day, the combine is going to tell us a lot of information. Uh, we have uh, five of these plots out there. Um, we have multiple side-by-sides and in, in field, you know, field size trials that we're gonna get that information to you. Uh, we're gonna get this plot information to you and uh, we're gonna have a better understanding once the combines hit the field of exactly the direction we wanna go into. Uh, we look forward to talking to you. We look forward to riding your combines. If you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, our plot here at our home location is open uh, for visitors. Come on your own, give us a call. Uh, we can walk through it and uh, again, like always, your success is our success. We appreciate your business. Uh, have a fun, safe harvest, and uh, we'll stay in touch. Thank you. Bye.